And so there we go. Our smart hummingbird feeder is set up, installed, camera is ready to go, and uh, sugar water is in it. Now the hummingbirds can come up, we'll land right here, be able to drink the sugar water right out of there. And we'll of course get a nice little video clip of them. All right, today we're back with another new smart product. This one is a tad different than some of the other ones I've reviewed because today, special thanks to this company, we have this, which you're probably thinking, okay. And it's actually this, a smart hummingbird feeder. We've did a few smart bird feeders, even a smart bird house, but today we have a smart hummingbird feeder, which we personally love hummingbirds. We have two hummingbird feeders outside already. They aren't smart, but this one's smart, has a camera and all that. Of course, we'll get on the overhead rig, we'll go through the unboxing, then we'll charge up the camera and go through the setup process. And then we'll set up this hummingbird feeder with some sugar water and hopefully get some clips of actual hummingbirds drinking from our smart hummingbird feeder. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And let's check out this smart hummingbird feeder. All right, so let's open up our smart hummingbird feeder. As you can see, you got a nice little kind of picture of it there. Right there. Smart hummingbird feeder on the front. TT Nature, which is the name of the company. Got a little photo of it here with the TT Nature smart hummingbird feeder sticker. Same back here. And wow, actually same on that side. Okay, nothing on the bottom. So let's open this up, see what we have here. So we have, first off, a very nice looking instruction booklet, which uh, should tell you, which should tell you everything we may or may not show you in this video. Look at all this. Wow. So uh, this looks to be the hook, of course, right here, where you'd be able to hook it on something. These are uh, the little like, caps essentially to like protect it from bees and stuff being able to get down into this this is just big enough for their little beak to fit through as you can see so that's pretty cool they've got a few different colors there for you red pink yellow and looks like a little uh cleaning brush as well there for these so that's all nice and neat together nicely done we've got an included micro usb cable this would be to charge up your camera of course we've got the actual hummingbird feeder here so your camera would be able to pop into here your hook would be able to go up here and then the bottom part would turn on so that um you know, the water can go down and the hummingbirds can access the water. So that's part of the feeder. Then this is like the little base. So this is like where that they can land to set their feet. Then we have a mount. I believe this is for the solar panel with screws and everything. Then the actual little tiny smart camera here. Nothing else in that. And there it is. Camera for you. Got your speaker on the back, which that you shouldn't really need. Camera lenses and everything. And then on the bottom, there's actually a little spot for the USB cable to go in. That way it can charge when it's up. And if you take out the other part of this, you can see there's a physical little on off switch in there, a micro SD card slot and a little reset button. Very cool. We'll set this to the side for now. Leave those kind of out. Then we've got some uh, more cardboard here. And this is the micro USB solar panel. So this will keep your camera charged at all times. This way you ain't got to deal with charging your camera up. All you have to do is keep the water in in the hummingbird feeder. So like that that's included. Then the last thing in here is the bottom base. Comes off too, nice. Of the hummingbird feeder. So this comes apart so you can easily clean it. But of course, just easily snaps together for you. And this would be the base part of the hummingbird feeder. So you would take these little parts, put down into here, and then this part would go onto here where that the hummingbirds can come up, get their drink, and your camera can record everything. So there's a bit to put together here. One of the things we of course need to do first is get this camera charged up. So we're gonna charge up the camera. And while we do that, we'll put together the rest of the hummingbird feeder. So while the camera's charging, let's put together the hummingbird feeder. So essentially we'll take this part apart first, take our little steps here and these kind of slide right into here like so. And then everything just kind of clips right into place for you. Then you're able to take this part and essentially put right over the top of it. There we go. 
where it all pops together. Very nice. Then this is the actual hummingbird feeder. So there's some little grooves here on the side. Kind of see those? Those slide down into here, of course, where that you can turn and lock them into place. So a little bit something like that. And there's even a lock icon there. And then you turn it. Boom. Now it's all locked together as one little unit. Now, of course, to put your water in, it does go in at the top here. So you just take this bottom part off, fill this up with water. None of the water is gonna hit your camera. It's all completely protected. And then you would just kind of do the same thing, rotate this back on, turn it upside down. The water would fill into here so that the hummingbirds can get to it. I'm personally gonna take one of each color. So do the yellow one over here, just kind of pops right into place we'll do the red one here in the middle center is actually offset that's nice because that one has a red center this one has a yellow and then we'll do the pink there we go that looks very nice now one of the few things that's left remaining is this is the mount for the solar panel take out your screws and your solar panel mount and just screw this right onto your solar panel until it's nice and tight and then you'll just angle this to the sun however you may need and run this to your camera. So give the camera a little more time to charge up, then we'll go through the process of actually adding that camera into the Hummingbird feeder. So you can scan this QR code to download the Bertie app in the Google Play or App Store. And so this is what that app would look like. Install this app on your device, create you an account and log in, and then we'll show you what to do next. So we have our app here installed, ready to go. Now we will come in here and we'll slide this little slider over to on, which will essentially Power Please on connect this camera. to Wi-Fi router. Connect to Wi-Fi router, okay. So flashing red lights, normally a good sign. We will select add device. We'll allow these permissions while using the app. And then it may actually just automatically find it since it should be into pairing mode. If not, there's only a couple of options here. So uh, we, of course, they have a smart bird bath. Oh, wow, that's cool. So we'll go ahead and select smart hummingbird feeder. We heard the network prompt. We'll click next. Wait for the red indicator to flash rapidly and listen for network connection prompt sound to enter the network state. So we've did that. Next. Now it needs my Wi-Fi password. Click connect. And now it wants me to scan this QR code with the camera. So we'll do that now. There it goes. Now the light's flashing green. We'll click, I heard the prompt. And now it's going through the process to add this camera to our Wi-Fi. We'll uh, leave it here to do, it's already done. So we'll give this a name, Smart Hummingbird Feeder. We'll click done and then we'll click done. And now we're going into the app. So there's an update. We'll go ahead and run this update and set it to auto update. And we'll start that update so it can be on the latest firmware. Then we'll come back and set everything up inside the Hummingbird Feeder outside. Now I can say this little tab here, never gonna need it. So I'm just gonna rip that on off. You don't have to do that, but I know I'm going to have the solar panel plugged in here, so I'll just never need that. It'll just be in the way. So essentially, this camera is able to just slide right into place. Now, there is room for the cable to run through here to be plugged in up top, and the only thing we may have to do is go into the settings to flip the image. That's because technically this is upside down, which I'll show you how to do that here in a moment. So there we go. Our update has installed. We have the option here to take a photo, record a video, cloud storage, and this little button up here is to change your view. So if we enter the device, there you can see we have 68% battery. We have HD camera settings, which there's only HD and SD, so we'll leave that. And down here, there's these same little buttons. So take a photo, record a video, and then some other little options here. Squirrel Explosion. Wow. Two-way talk, the night mode. You can change the theme to dark mode. That's always good. And of course, if you come up here to these three dots, it takes you into the settings where that we can select storage settings. And you can see our micro SD card is there installed, ready to go. The uh, infrared night vision is set to auto sounds. Device volume is set all the way up, although shouldn't really be using the sound. Basic function settings, so status indicator. Flip screen is enabled by default, so that's nice. Don't even have to to change that. Power management settings, so power source battery, that should change to solar once it's plugged in. Recording settings, local recording, so it should save to the SD card, and then we're not doing cloud storage. So there we go. Uh, as you can see, everything is right side up, so it's all working as it should, and yeah, I mean, technically, we're ready to go put this thing up, so let's go do that now. Now, this is one of our non-smart hummingbird feeders. Since I don't want to make more hummingbird sugar mix. I'm just going to take the uh, water out of these and uh, put it into 
the new one. There we go. Now our hummingbird feeder is full of sugar water. Now let's put it all back together. So now that we have our water in here, we can just flip this over. And there we go. Heard it lock. And so then, bada bing, now it's ready to be hung up. So I'm gonna go use this and find me a nice little spot out back to hang this up. Let's go do that now. So we've got a hook here. Well, my wife is doing dishes and stuff, so she likes to look through this window. So we'll just hang it right there. And there we go. Now it's installed. Now, like I said, I gotta go grab the camera and technically I could run this uh, cable around somewhere to mount the solar panel. Although for me, I'm probably not gonna worry about the solar panel for this video, but let me get the camera up here. And so there we go. Our smart hummingbird feeder is set up, installed, camera is ready to go and uh, sugar water's in it. Now the hummingbirds can come up, we'll land right here, be able to drink the sugar water right out of there. And we'll of course get a nice little video clip of them. Now it is don't know if you can see my watch. April 16th. We've only seen a couple of hummingbirds, so I can't guarantee if I'll have a clip of an actual hummingbird on here. But just in case I don't, this will be a little daytime audio video test so you can see exactly the quality of this camera from this smart hummingbird feeder. And so in case I can't get any hummingbirds here in the next few days, this is a daytime audio video test, although you wouldn't need the audio of this smart hummingbird feeder. Pretty darn nice quality. And ironically enough, uh, I did not get any hummingbirds that landed on it yet, but uh, some other birds landed on it. So we'll throw these clips in right here. And so there you have it. That's a look at the setup and installation process of this TT Nature Smart Hummingbird Feeder. Now, personally, my wife completely loved this product. I actually like it myself as uh, I've really liked hummingbird feeders ever since we got sent our first non-smart hummingbird feeder last year. It's just cool that the birds are so small and they move so fast and everything else. Now, camera quality looks stellar. I did the audio test just to do it, but that's what the audio would sound like. Granted, for this hummingbird feeder, you wouldn't really need the audio, but but outside of that, I did set my sensitivity to high to whenever a bird lands on it, it should always hopefully capture it. And I did not do any schedules of like it not recording or anything like that. You don't need that. I did set it to record locally though, so that way I'm not using the cloud. So everything's just saved to the SD card. And then I'll go in there and can pull and look at the video clip from my hummingbird feeder. So that's essentially it. Thanks again to TT Nature, who was nice enough to send this to me. I'll of course have a link down below in the description to this exact smart hummingbird feeder. If you would like to grab one for yourself and click like, click subscribe, Indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.